Hi there and uh, welcome back. So let us continue with our lesson and today we are going to learn about the coroutines and what actually are the coroutines. So you can see over the here that the coroutines are co plus a routine. Here co means a cooperation and a routine means a function. So it means that when a function cooperates with each other then we can call it as a coroutine. And let's say we have a function A and a function B. So you can see that it can execute a few line of code in a function A and then execute a few line of code in a function B. And then again a few line of code from a function A and so on. So here you can see there is uh, one thing that it is suspending a function A and then going to the function B and then coming back to a function A and resuming it that. So this is a uh, thing that a coroutines help us to do where we can suspend a function and resume a function back again. This will be helpful when a thread is sitting idle and it, it's not doing anything and it in that case it can execute a few lines of code from another function. So which means that you can utilize more of your thread over here. So if you see that thread is doing nothing then you can still ask him to do some other tasks. Right? So this way it, it, you can take a full advantage of it. Ultimately, cooperating helps in a multitasking. So let's see the difference between the thread and the coating. And the difference is that thread are managed by the OS and the coatings are managed by the users. So which means it can take a, execute a few lines of code from one function and then taking advantage of the cooperation between the two functions. So which means that a thread is managed by OS and coating are managed by the users. And we can also say our coating is an optimized framework written over the actual threading by taking the advantage of the cooperative nature of the function to make it a lightweight and as well as a powerful. So we can say that coating are a lightweight thread. A lightweight thread means that it doesn't map on your native thread. So it doesn't require a context switching on the processor. So which means they are more faster. And the uh, coating does not replace the thread and it's just like a framework to manage your thread more efficiently. So the difference here, you can just say that thread is managed by OS and the coating are managed by the users. And you can think of a coating as just a framework to manage your thread more efficiently. So it's more lightweight and it's more powerful and you don't have to do the context switching like in a thread you have to do a context switching and that depends on your processor so it may be a bit expensive over there now let us go and see about the official documentation what does it says about the kotlin coatings so one can think of the coating as a lightweight thread like thread coating can run in a parallel and wait for each other to communicate the biggest difference is that the coating are very cheap almost free we can create thousands of them and pay a very little in terms of the performance. True threads, on the other hand, are expensive to start and keep around. A thousand of threads can be a serious challenge for a modern machine. So at the end, we can say that a core team is a framework to manage a co concurrency in a more performative and a simple way with its lightweight thread, which is written on top of the actual threading framework to get the most out of it and taking the advantage of the cooperative nature of the function. So that's all and hope you understand what actually the Kotlin Kotlin is and how it is different from the actual thread. So on the next lecture, we will go and do some of the practical lessons. So till then, have a great day.